Hey there, it's Scott with Seaman Custom Builds. This video I'll show you how to use the T2 laser software to connect to your new laser engraver. Okay, so you have our lasers now assembled. We have our power cord on. You should get a little red light on if it's connected, powered on, looking good. Got our USB connected to our computer. Now we're ready to open up T2 and get started. Okay, now we're ready to connect to the laser and test out the control. So we're gonna to go to the third icon from the left. If you hover over, it says control laser and click on that. And we'll see we come to the control screen. So over here, we wanna look for our COM port or hit connect and let it find it. And you may hear the module spin up, make a little buzz noise. So if so, you're doing good. So next thing we need to do is go load the correct firmware onto the control module. So we're gonna go down to upload firmware. And hit connect. It's going to ask us, do you want to overwrite the old firmware? We're gonna say yes. And then watch for, uh, it's gonna be less than a minute or so. It'll write the new file there and update it. And you should hear the little processor spinning, uh, making a little bit of noise as it goes. All right, so it brought us back to our first screen there. So we're gonna reconnect and we'll see we got our COM port now. And we're gonna hit connect. So now that we're connected, we can look down here at the bottom. We'll see we're on Gribble 1.1e is ready. So we're good there. So now we just want to simply test out our controls. So we're going to click left, right, up, down, and make sure the laser moves as we expect. So we hit right. Well, notice it's going left. So actually we're facing the opposite way it thinks we are. So we can fix that real easy in the software. So we'll come back over to our screen and we're going to go to settings. We're going to reverse the X axis. And we're going to try it again. So we hit right we're going right and one quick note is there's a few numbers here under so that was going two steps per click so we can go up to five makes a little more uh, easy to adjust so let's try the up so we're good there down and left all right so we have our controls going the next thing you want to do is now we watch our X and Y axis is moved. The numbers change as we move it. We want to home that. So when we start our picture, we want to start where we expect it. So if you right click, you can then home and we go back to zero zeros. So now that we have figured out how to control the laser module, let's test to make sure it'll turn on and off. So we'll click the little laser on to the left there. And we see we have our light and to the right side, we have laser off, lasers off, and then the center one is pulse. So if we click that, you'll see you get a quick blip. But what you're gonna wanna do is click the laser on, and then you want to adjust so you get a nice pinpoint, very nice crisp burn, and you'll find, you'll see where it it's looking pretty good. Then we can turn our laser back off. All right, so we're done testing the controls. So we'll hit X, we'll close out of the controller. And we're back to our first T2 screen. So now let's pick an image. So you can go up here and do sketch and type something in, create your own. Um, I like to import a file I already have. So let's go over to open image, file open image. And I'm just gonna pick my logo. All right, so the next thing we need to do is size it. So we come up here to the top, we have output size. This is all in millimeters, so 25 millimeters an inch. So let's just make it about an inch and a half. So we can leave it at 40. That's gonna, we got the aspect lock, so it'll adjust the height accordingly, or you could do height and adjust the width accordingly. 
and hit OK. Next, we can adjust our speed. So I suggest just start at like a thousand if you haven't used it. And hit OK. So we can pick if we want horizontal or diagonal graving. I found that horizontal is almost always the quicker of the two options. We did the feet. We can do laser power. So leave the minimum at zero. Max is uh, 999. I've also seen where it says 255 is what the max setting is. It's full on. It doesn't whatever that number is. And then lastly, resolution. This can be, uh, if you go down to a 0 0.1, you'll get a pretty detailed image. Um, you can go to 0.2, it's still pretty good. Um, or you can kind of go anywhere in between. So only if it's something small, I try to do 0.1, it's not gonna take much longer for a small image. If you get something larger and you need just to speed the time up, make it try 0 0.15, 0 0.2, see if you still get a, a good result. And hit OK. So we've got that ready. So now we're going to go back to control our laser. You'll see down here at the bottom, it's going to generate G code. That's the code it's sending to the laser itself to tell it what X, Y axis and when to on off the laser. So we're going now to reconnect. We'll hear it spin up. If we want to decide to move around the laser head to find our center point, we can move those settings here now. And once we're set, hit home. And then now we're ready for to send the G-code. Hit the envelope and let it start engraving. Okay, so our image is done. It looks pretty good on that piece of plywood. So let's just go over a couple final settings, more advanced settings here. Uh, so you close that out. So if we go to settings, go down to image options, I suggest that you do bi-directional scanning, that you also skip blank lines and rapid skip blank. That will help speed up uh, all your projects immensely. Hope that helped. Good luck in your engraving.